here it is. We've got a uh, 2004 uh, 6.0 liter E450 uh, by Wheeled Coach. And uh, I'll do a walk around so you can see everything. It's kind of a crummy day out. I wish it was a little, there was a little more sun. But uh, it's the clouds keep uh, coming and going. So uh, I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. The runtime on my videos. Uh, going a little longer than I would like them to so I'm going to try to speed it up let me back up a little bit and get a good perspective and that is the outside so then I'll, I'll go through the compartments and then we'll go inside and we'll do a test drive and everything. Um, this ambulance has uh, medical air in addition to the oxygen. So you can see there's two uh, holders for M tank uh, and the lines that are running off there. Um, hold on one sec. Yeah. And um, uh, those, uh, I'll show you the outlets when we get inside. Here's where it's, uh, we've got a Vanner inverter, uh, the suction. It also has a compressor for, it has air horns. So it has a compressor for the air horn. Um, and then all the electrical uh, up above there, the wheel and strobe. Uh, modules um, and two shelves for storage I do have the keys for all of these exterior compartments they all lock they all work uh, that's kind of cool it's just a cover for the for the fuel tank um, don't see that very often um, then we have um, more storage space so you can put a spare tire in there um, it doesn't have a spare tire, but there's certainly space uh, for one if you choose. Um, I'm going to bypass the back doors for now. We'll go into the back in just a second. Here's the backboard compartment. Um, lots of storage. There's a little shelf in there. Um, down here for road chains or whatever else you would like to put. Um, there's that. Then we have storage here for, um, you know, jump bags, monitor, oxygen, uh, whatever, portable oxygen, whatever you're working with. And then the batteries down here. Oops. Uh, there's two batteries here and then there's one under the hood okay then um, well let's look let me uh, we'll go we'll look in the cab okay so here we've got uh, the passenger door uh, which you can see this is not broken a lot of times that is totally broken off or hanging loose uh, floor is in great condition. It has the rubber floor instead of the carpet. Uh, seats in great condition. No stains. The armrest not broken. Um, dash has a couple of blemishes uh, where the finish has come off. I don't know if you can see that but right there. A couple of spots. There's some scratches from my like, clipboard being tossed up on the dash um, it's uh, I refurbished the uh, center console um, to factory specs it's got the aluminum plate where the radio would be mounted there um, but when they took the radios out they just destroyed it so I had a new cover from uh, wheeled coach for that and the OEM paint 
um, to refinish the, you know, the center console. So that's ready for your radio or whatever. Um, here's the switches and stuff for here, and I'll go all over that stuff later. I'm just giving you a general look. I'll go around to the other side. Um, there's this door that does slide across. And if you want to uh, block out the screams and yells from the back, you can do that. And um, the headliner has a few blemishes. I think you can see right there, like pen marks. Um, I haven't bothered to try to get rid of those just because I've had bad experience. If you don't use the right cleaning agent, you can make it a lot worse. So I just left it alone. Um, go around to the other side. Look at the driver's side. Um, I might have to do that. All right, so here's the driver's side. Uh, the driver's door. Um, this is not broken again like uh, this side. The battery switch on the driver's seat. Rubber floor, no holes. The uh, driver's seat, excellent condition. Looks like new. Armrest not broken. Um, and this is the driver's side perspective. And nothing significant in the headliner uh, on the driver's side. But um, let's look at the back.